What's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video we got a good one. So today we're going to be going out and checking out a GT500 that I've been uh, seeing on the road every single day sitting on the side. And you know, it's black. It looks really nice. So we're going to go and check that out. I still have a lot of decisions to make if I want this car to be, you know, the next car for this channel. We're sitting with the 5 over here. Um, this is my mom's Camaro. But the 500 could be the next car. So I just got to make sure the numbers are all good and we'll see what happens. But yeah, we're going to go check it out. I'm not sure if they're going to let us test drive it or not. We'll find out when we get there because, you know, high-end cars, $100,000 plus cars, they don't let you test drive some of them. So we're going to go see uh, what we can do. Also, I have the Ford Performance by Boiler Catback exhaust still sitting here. If anyone's still looking to buy an exhaust like this, um, I do have someone interested in it. So if anyone else is interested in it, let me know in the comments and we can work something out. We recently put the Corsa Extreme cat back on and we're selling the Ford Performance by Boiler cat back. If you haven't seen that video, click the top right card and that'll link uh, the video to where I put on the Corsa Extreme cat back. First, we got to move my mom's Camaro. And if you guys don't know anything about Camaros, they are not the best for visibility. Um, see this thing right here? See that thing right there? See how high this dash is? They are really bad visibility. Like this thing is probably the worst thing to drive. Other than the visibility, they're not that bad. It's fun to drive sometimes, but uh, it's only a V6, but you know, it is what it is. I installed this thing, a little display screen right there for Apple CarPlay for my mom. So she is uh, ready to go. And it's very dirty in here, so don't mind that. All right, so we got my mom's car packed right there. Now we get to move the GT out here. And man, this thing just looks so good. I'm so glad I tinted out the, the front windshield because you know, the whole thing just needs to be blacked out. All right, without further ado, let's get in here. This thing's kind of dirty too. I should probably give this a little deep clean one weekend. But well, let's start it up. Man, that sounds good. That's my little dash camera friend. Always keeps me in check. But yeah, we're just gonna let this sit here, idle up for a little bit, and we'll get on the road. Man, does that sound good though? Porsche Extremes will change your life. Just listen to this idle. All right y'all, so here it is. GT500. What is it? 520 miles. Thing's nice, isn't it? That's better. Camera's not as dirty now. Look at these carbon fiber wheels right here. Man, but this is it. Open up a door here. Let's take a seat. <sighs> Alcantara steering wheel. All carbon fiber. Transmission. It's weird, got the little circle thing here. Not used to that, but sheesh. These power shifters are nice. All right, so we got the keys here. We're gonna start this up. See what this sounds like, cold start. So we got a yellow Z06 here, a black Z06 here. I'm personally a fan of the black one with the red interior. Man, maybe this should be the next car. Should I go Corvette? Supercharged. We reviewed my buddy Z06 on one of the last videos. That'll be in the top right corner if you want to watch that video. But we're going to go on the inside of this and look at this one. 
Let me do a quick walk around of this. These wheels are enormous, shiny. Got the euros in the back. Oh my god. Yeah, that sounds nice too. Pretty sure it's 6,500 miles on this thing for a 2015. That's really good actually. So we're gonna grab the keys for this one now. We're gonna check out the inside of that. So we're gonna go inside. Check this one out. Red interior is so nice. Whew. Man, I might have to go Z Z06. It's the next car. Man, these flat bottom steering wheels do something, dude. This is nice. This one is an automatic. That yellow one is a manual. So I would definitely like this one. Just because of the black and the red and automatic and flat bottom steering wheel. Z06 might be the way to go. You guys need to let me know in the comments. GT500, Z06. I know GT500, but just because of the price point, this thing just makes so much more sense. I'll let you guys see the yellow one just because we're here. This is a 2016. So what would you guys choose if you were had if you didn't have the money for this? So we got GT500, the yellow C Z06, and the black Z06. Got a Z01 in here too. They got all the cars here. This Alcantara, man. That Alcantara. Oh. Man, do I go ZL1? There's so many options. This carbon fiber all in here. Man, one day, but the one thing, one thing about the Camaro is the, the view, like a mom's car. They're not. It's definitely obstructed compared to the cluster. Yeah, because the blinds, this is blind spots. Yeah, yeah. The, the, so the big difference in this one and the new one? Mm hmm. The, the rear view, the rear view mirror. Uh -huh. You can view it through this camera. Oh, with really? A sharp pen. So seeing behind you is a whole lot easier. If it was an older model, seeing behind you is a whole, uh -huh. whole lot tougher. Yeah, my mom's but, Camaro. I mean, oh, yeah, you can barely see out of it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, especially when you're taller. Yeah, especially when you're tall. So. <laughs> It's 2022, so. It's, I believe it's hanging out around 1,000 now. Okay. Yeah, I think that's how you said that. All right, y'all. So, as you guys can see, a lot of, a lot of things to think about. They didn't let us test drive the GT500 but um, or the Corvettes because, you know, low miles. And you do, they just don't let people test drive those kind of cars sometimes. But we got the guy's number. Um, so I have a lot to think about. Let me know in the comments what you guys like the best. Uh, obviously, GT500 is probably the best, but price range, price range. let's say, what do you guys think about the, the Z06 Corvettes? Because that black one with the red interior and the flat bottom steering wheel with the Alcantara uh, supercharged, it's just, man, it's a really nice car. And after um, being with my buddy in the Z06 that we reviewed, um, those cars are just, they're fast and they're nice. I love the C7 body style. So uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Or, you know, do I just stay with good old 5.0? Maybe, uh, maybe supercharge this? What do you guys think? Do I look into getting a, a different car? Or do I stay with the 5.0? You know, good old buddy here and uh, supercharge him or pro charge or whatever. Do I stay with this, build this even more? Or do I just go buy a supercharged car? Because this thing is already so much fun. If I just add like a wibbled supercharger to this or something, I'm gonna put the windows down as you can hear. And the course extreme. so much to drive and just sounds so good there is a dealership uh, around here that's like two miles down the road they got two Hellcats 
um we might go check out the hellcats one day just just because why not just to explore all the different cars so we just we just checked out the gt500 uh the two uh z06s and i haven't ever experienced the hellcat so maybe we'll go check that out see what we think of those and we'll maybe make a just make a decision uh buy and buy one of the next cars especially you guys are um gonna influence me what to get uh because i like taking your guys words into consideration so make sure you leave it down in the comments because i always listen to you guys and i respond to every single comment or do i just uh supercharge this car keep this car ride it out and uh make this car into something that a beast you know one day hopefully 1000 horsepower car um so we could do that or we could just go the easy route not the easy route but the simpler route and just buy a supercharged car and just work from there my first car being a v6 mustang convertible at 16 and then at 17 owning a 5.0 um i mean i'm already doing good i feel like because next next up is either a shelby or a supercharged car so hopefully you guys keep subscribing to the channel watching my videos like and comment and we can grow this channel to something big and hopefully own something really nice one day and multiple cars and the plan is for the future one day to be big enough to where i can give away cars you know be like the stradman motor tube derrick baron productions so just people like that um the real big inspirations to me so hopefully we could be like them one day also when i hit uh like 2,000 subscribers soon maybe three four whatever uh hopefully i want to drop my own uh merch merchandise uh maybe some t-shirts some sweatshirts about i don't know i haven't really caught with a brand yet or anything like that but hopefully one day we can sell some t-shirts do some fun stuff like that because i know a lot of influencers uh car youtubers are doing stuff like that so that's definitely something down the road that we can think about doing and i'm really excited for that also if there's anybody else out here in florida um mostly on the gulf side like venice Sarasota, englewood fort myers that area and you guys have any nice cars that you want me to like review or just to try out um maybe could be the next car let me know in the comments and we could definitely set up meeting i can review the car go for a drive see how it is i'm always open to uh collaborating with other people so just let me know and yeah i know that gt500 sounded um quiet because it was a stock car everything about that was stock it was a track package though carbon fiber package as you guys can see from the wheels the wing the inside everything like that but obviously if we get a car like that we're gonna mod it out um the exhaust is always like one of the first things to do obviously because it sounds so quiet but it sounded good stock though so uh you know hopefully next car whatever it is we're gonna mod it out it's my dash camera interrupting me again but yeah guys so let me know in the comments what you guys think of those cars that we just looked at and what i should do for my next car or keep this and supercharge it let me know but yeah guys this is uh if you're new to the channel this is my 2018 mustang gt premium a lot of stuff done to this car man we got full full bolt-on car cat bag long tubes cold air intake tune everything all the works not e85 yet one day maybe depends on what i plan on doing but that is what we're rocking right now and if you're new to the channel make sure you consider subscribing we're on the road to 2k and we are almost there so if you guys made it this far in the video make sure you leave a like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace Get in the right, left hand is steering, the other is gripping your thigh. Light up a spiff and get high, shout it, you deserve what you